All right, guys, hopefully you guys are clean. Today we are getting ready early. And Mr. Burt had just made a video about uh, grinding. And it's something that I've struggled with. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, I can't. I, I don't know. I, I don't like using it for my uh, my felon saws and whatnot. But uh, for the processor, it's it's fast. It's quick. It's simple. Um, yeah, nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show my process. And if, uh, he decides to watch this, maybe he can give me a couple pointers, but, uh, right off the bat, I see that my wheel is glazed. This is a new wheel. I had just bought it. chain here and I was thinking it had to do with being dirty and my chains are they're dirty they're oily they're not horrible I know it dulls up files pretty good or at least plugs them up so we're going here Let's see where we're at we're close all right so like that that either 25 let's tighten this guy down same deal weird I don't know what's going on Took the edge off. So I don't have any black on the wheel at all, but uh, it got cherry red again. I'll show you guys real quick here. The wheel, nice and clean. Hopefully it shows up all right. No black on it, no nothing. I'm hoping you guys can see where I've got you here. It's not not ideal I don't have the best camera mount at home right now I'll let you guys watch watch if you can here I get cherry red and start smoking. Now I, I understand the burr. I was mentioning that with uh, Bert that I've always got a pretty good burr. Now I might be taking too much material too. So maybe if I back this down just to squash here. Now the tooth already looks better uh, than it was before. Because I was just getting I was getting cherry red and bit more it really is a fine balance I, I'm at least the way I'm thinking it in the first couple videos that's what I was told to do was the so maybe I'm doing myself a disservice by doing that maybe that's causing me uh, most of my grief because Bert just kind of gets in there So I'm going to uh, follow Bert's lead on it because everything that I thought I knew hasn't really been working out very well. And uh, we'll see. But I mean, the teeth are getting, they're getting red. Let me uh, back that off a little bit. Let me get a little bit deeper into that gullet. And he squares the end. Um, he squares the bottom. So basically where your gullet would be, which 
me find one that's this is this is a good one here I don't know if I've got I might have some used chains but you can see right here in between the actual tooth and the raker this would be your gullet and he cleans that flat let me see I've got a lot of uh, 18s and 20 inch bars and chains that I take off saws I buy all right so I don't have any offhand that I've seen oh and I'm not gonna waste too much time with it because I gotta get back into the woods so but you'll see you'll see a uh, a chain that's got a gullet it, it'll have material in between the tooth and the raker and if you're square grinding it's not as much of a big deal because of your angles and whatnot but For chip deflection and all that, it all plays a role. See them teach us smoking, which could be the oil residue. another reason why I really don't use my uh, I round file on all my production saws we're already I don't think we are maybe we are we'll see with this too okay yeah there's the burr all right so flopping around what we do I don't use any different degree wise I know Bert likes the uh, the 10 degrees angle. I don't do that just because I've only got one machine and I'm not gonna swap everything. However, I did actually uh, bring it 10 degrees forward. Um, so it gets deeper into the gullet on this machine. And I am running 50 where Bert's running 60 degrees on the actual head. Uh, I, I cut my, it's hard for me to, <laughs> hard for me to try to teach when at least I'll get you in the ballpark of where I am with it I'm at 25 degrees here for the angle um, I'm running 10 degrees forward and then 50 degrees to get underneath my tooth and take that gullet back a little bit uh, right wrong or indifferent that's what I'm at and uh, like I said, I mean, this it's, it's a learning experience for me. Uh, I did, I used to, when I was trying it on my production saws, what I'd do is I'd stop this machine, I'd put my drill on it, I'd spin the wheel backwards, that way it was spitting the, uh, the metal this way and be cutting into the tooth on both sides. Uh, this machine doesn't do it on its own, but it is possible to... Uh, possible to make it work all right so that's one chain done I got a little done side here and then I get on to the next one we got a one that's got to get flipped here okay this thing uh, it does quick work of these chains for sure Love it when they're the same, same depth. Twenty-five degrees. Anybody with any more experience with these things, definitely leave a comment. What you're seeing, what you don't like, what I'm doing, what you do like, I'm doing, and if it has any value to me, I'll try to. Try 
to get uh, to the swing of it. Like I said, it's a new, it's a new process for me. I did try the uh, the Dremel type. I think it was a steel with them ceramic uh, bits. If there's anything I can hopefully steer anybody away from, it's that. Pay 50 to $60 for the tool. And I think the bits, it comes with three bits and they're eight, ten dollars for three. The first two chains I did, I broke the bits. I think it was because of the angle I was pulling, but nice, nicest part about it is it hooks into the battery of the processor. So I can do it on the fly right there, but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not sold on it. That and the processor, I actually, right where that uh, black fingernail is, you see that chunk of fingernail, um, it's all lifted up. That's actually, I cut myself that deep on that chain on the processor, where you can actually kind of see a little valley right in there. I was uh, using that tool and I used a stick and I was pulling it and I I got my finger pretty good. Where am I going here? Okay. Now I'm not going to say it didn't sharpen the chain well, it did. When I could keep the bit going. It didn't break in half on me, but uh, I don't know. They're just too brittle, and with the steel version, it's a threaded deal, so you can't go out and just get a Dremel, Dremel bit. And uh, I think these are done. Yep. So you can't just go out and get a Dremel bit if you want to try a different kind of stone. These look like they're new. Alright, so I'll show you guys right here. See that wheel? How black it is already? I'm thinking that must be residual oil on there. So I'm going to dress this up before I get in. This is a new chain. I don't know if it's actually had a grinding done to it or not yet. It don't look like it, so there. Nice and clean again. And that was two chains. So apparently you start getting that black, black, uh, let me definitely can see I pulled a little bit of material there, so. That must have been it, Bert. Yeah. Is this not burning teeth? As stupid as that sounds, that had me puzzled. Nope, I don't like it. Pulling that sucker back a little bit more. In, the, in here I've been doing these chains and not showing you guys the results I'm sorry we'll get it this time we'll get it this time as you can see oil and all that other trash like I said I don't clean them a lot of people do and if it was just as easy as sticking them in gasoline Overnight taking them out and doing this. I might think about doing it, but if you gotta get scraping toothbrushes out, and I'm not I'm not messing with all that garbage. That's better. That's beautiful. 
beautiful, man. He said I would figure it out in the lost comedy made me. See that tooth? I'm not hitting. Okay, you can hear it. All the way down, not hitting it. Leave it alone. Like I said, I'm going for uniform. And you know what? I'm all, I'm all the way around, aren't I? Yep. Okay. So, uh, maybe in the future I'll get two one or two more of these i was thinking about getting one more uh anyway about with doing the rakers hey there that's that's deep okay we're having one machine to just do the rakers well on this first batch i'm not even touching the rakers i'm gonna see how this machine does without the uh, rakers being touched because it it bogs it down as it is. My rakers is the uh, lot of fluid I give it. With the old, uh, the go lever on the processor, so. If I had a clean chain, I'd probably be able to see where we are course I'm kind of short of, I don't know this this camera's never really been all that great but you can see the profile you can kind of see the gullet how I'm not got a uh, ski jump I've got a nice nice tooth there and I'm hitting every last bit of it so I know the GoPro is not exactly the best camera for this type of work but it's what we've got like that six chains ready to rock